Hey, this is Shiraz. And before we get started, I just want to let you know that when I clear something for someone, when I cause a shift, I tend to yawn and cough from the energetic shift that happens. I don't know why it happens. It's just how my body works. And if you don't know that, you're going to listen to this video and go, what the hell is wrong with this guy? You might still think that, but now there's more of an explanation. The other thing to keep in mind is that if you hear something that you can absolutely relate to, when I cleared for them, you can get it cleared for you too. Just say yes when they're saying yes, and it works. It's, I have people that watch these videos every morning to get stuff cleared. This can be your new morning habit too. Okay, that's enough for that. Let's get on with the video. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get a great shift out of it. See you soon. I have been like three days thinking about what is the question that I want to ask, but you just hit a few things um, on the head. Uh, ambition is um, should be way up and it's definitely not. I am stepping into starting a business as a, as a coach, as a life coach. I will not use the word transformational. Um, <laughs> Uh, and I am going to train, do some training with you as well soon. Um, I, in the last couple of months, um, have made some changes in my life that are significant. And um, this is an emotional one. I just left an abusive relationship last week. Congratulations. And I've stopped living other people's stories for me and about me. And on one level, I am so excited and proud mm -hmm. that I actually had the courage to do this. This is probably the biggest thing I've ever done in my life, and I've done some big things. But to turn my back and walk away and never shed a tear from the moment that I decided to leave five months ago until I moved into this place last week, um, I'm really proud of that. <laughs> I'm really stunned by what I've done. I'm very proud. So now that I've some stopped love living, in the chat. <laughs> now that I've stopped living, it's my, it's my brother's story that I um, resume working and um, become a bookkeeper. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't work for me. My passion is working with people. My background has been um, big in commercial side, but I'm also a psychotherapist. So I'm wanting to go back to the job and the fulfilling feeling that I always got in working with people and the pride that I had in that as well. So now here I am untethered and I'm saying, okay, what do I do? And I'm so afraid of stepping out and stepping forward. Um, the old stories that are, or, which are still with me, the stories that run through me come from childhood about, I wasn't the star child in the family, the smarter one was my brother. Um, so I'm stuck in, I'm not smart. Um, okay. But I've got oodles and zoodles of diplomas that say otherwise. Yeah. Um, and I'm afraid that I live small because I'm trying to not upset um, or change people's image of my brother. Yeah, that's exactly what's going on. You have to stay small so your brother can be the star. Yes. And he's not having a good time in life at the moment. So I'm becoming smaller and smaller. And I don't want to live small. Okay. I don't deserve to live small. And I don't deserve to be judged um, on whether I measure up or I don't measure up. And that part makes me angry. Okay. That, that I live looking for the proper judgment, that I'm acceptable, that I'm enough and that I can do it. And I'm angry with myself because I put those blocks in my path. Mm -hmm. I can't seem to let go of them. What would happen if you were a bigger star than your brother? I think I would feel bad about it. <laughs> okay. why, why have you decided you have to feel bad about it? Pro uh, okay, not probably. Because I do believe that I would feel I'm 
not deserving of that. I would be letting down a number of people. I would be letting down other people's stories. And the worst part is all those people are dead now. So <laughs> I'm, I'm a little confused. Why are you letting them down by being successful? I, it's just such a strong belief that I have. It's a set of stories I've heard over and over and over that I, I feel that I've used them to live small. And now I'd be betraying something. Okay. If I, if I reached out and lived large. Are you willing to step out of the story that you're not allowed to betray their stories of you? I think I am. Because that's not a real yes. No. I think I am is not I'm yes. I'm angry. <laughs> I'm angry. <laughs> am I willing to let go of the anger? Yes. Am I willing to just say, look, this is my life? Yes. And it scares me. Okay. So that yes wasn't really, a, that did not come. No, up. it's not. Okay. It's like, I should say yes. Who's, who's in charge of your life? Me. See, that's not coming up true. First okay. name or, or names that pop into your head. Who's in charge of your life? My brother. Okay. Are you willing to step out of the story that John is in charge of your life? Ow. Yes. It's actually going to shift. <laughs> Are you willing to step out of the story that it's your responsibility to stay smaller than him? Yes. Have you thought about this? What if you becoming massively successful is the kick in the pants he needs to become successful again? I do really mean. I don't care. I really don't care. <laughs> okay. Because you said that he's not doing well, so I've had to make myself smaller. Oh, he's not he's not doing well on not from a business perspective, but from lifestyle. Yeah. But okay. what if you doing He's well? Suffering. Yeah. But it's the same thing. It's like if you're right now, if you've been making yourself small to compensate for him not doing well on lifestyle, mm -hmm. what if you go the opposite way and make yourself big? So he's like, oh, I can live a better lifestyle. She's just, she got me out of her phone. I'm not saying you're responsible for it, but if that possibility is no. there instead of the one I'm, you're meaning. I'm willing to surrender that. Okay. Not my problem. Okay, good. <laughs> What is wrong with being massively successful? <laughs> I guess it was never the plan. Right? Okay. Do you um, have to stick to the plan? No, no, I don't. Okay, see, that didn't come up true. So are you willing to step out of the story that you have to stick to the plan? I have fears about failing. Oh, you're going to fail. Trust <laughs> oh, me, you're going to fail. No, but this is it. It's part of the process. You're going to fail and you're going to fail and you're going to succeed. And you're going to succeed. And you're going to fail and you're going to succeed. And you're going to fail and fail and fail and succeed and succeed. That's it. You are going to fail and you okay. are going to succeed. I'm willing to step out of it. <laughs> Okay. Remember that all failure is, is growth. Mm. Well, that didn't work. Let me see how else I can make that work. And now you're forced to grow. 
if you succeeded every time, every, everything, there would be no actual internal growth in you because you, you're getting everything all the time. You're not yes. changing the person. So you, I, it's not that you want to create failure, but you want to welcome failure when it shows up. The intention's always success. But if failure comes up, it's like, wow, I get a chance to learn. I believe that. Good. I really believe that. I, I've, I've experienced that. Good. Is it okay if people see you fail? Yeah, I feel, I think, I, I think I'm moving, I'm shifting. And, okay, yeah. we're, sh we're shifting, we're not there yet. <laughs> okay, I'm shifting. Uh, it's like, yeah, like, what's it to them? It's my it's, failure. I mean, I yeah, it's it. your, that's it. It's your life, it's not theirs. But some people are like, <laughs> I can't let people see me fail. People are going to judge me. People might mock me. People are, I, That stuff comes up. Are you willing to step out of the story that you have to make sure no one sees you fail? Yeah. <laughs> okay. There's so much physical change happening for me at the moment. Like the, my shoulders, my everything is just getting relaxed. Yeah. Yeah, just let that happen. Yeah. It's, it's cool because one of the most amusing things I find with people that are worried about if, what everyone's going to think about them is they're missing the point that that's what everyone else is doing at the same time. They're all worried about what everyone else is going to think. You're not, they're yeah. not actually thinking about you. They're thinking about themselves and what everyone's going to think about them. And there's just this whole world doing this. Right. So when you, when you realize that, it just gets easier because I'm like, yeah they're too concerned with their own problems they don't care why should i care about what they care if they don't care because they're too concerned about what i care about them yeah so yeah okay how are you feeling um it's like i feel stuff is being pulled out of me um yeah. and and it's a good feeling it's like um like it i won't say darkness but it it feels heavy it feels metallic it has a, a whole bunch of sensations to it my shoulders you know it's like that carrying the weight of you know my shoulders reaching my earlobes suddenly they're coming down um i uh, have had a lot of pain in my body it's just floating away uh which is really welcome and really nice um i can breathe better i'm feeling determined it's this expression of you know what the hell is it your business yeah. and it's sort of like i'm feeling like i own what i produce i own my own results and anyone else can like it or love it is the feeling that i have it's it's sort of a what do i care what you think good yeah <laughs> I mean, this is the thing. You're the one creating the magic in your life, mm. right? So just create the magic you want because you can use that magic to create crap or wonderful things. And now it feels yeah. like you're in a position that's like, I'm going to use that magic to create some really cool things. Yeah. I, I just keep hearing this word capable, capable. Yeah. In the background. And, and you are. Yeah. I, I, at the moment, I definitely feel I am. Last night, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> Most of today, I didn't. Right now, I feel um, strong. I feel capable. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. Cool. All right. That sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> That's a shift. Yes, it's definitely like, a shift. Bring it on. You know, Not too loudly, bring it on. But yeah, I, I feel... Let's just, let's just do it. Let's do it. All right. Congratulations. I never thought I would feel like this after, you know, 10 minutes, 10 minutes ago, I didn't feel this way. Now it's kind of exciting. Pulled out a bunch of Jenga blocks. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did. I bought the game. Cool. <laughs> and I have your book, the soft cover and the Kindle version. Oh, wow. <laughs> Never without your book. <laughs> oh, I am so honored. Oh my God. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So oh, now just keep in mind. We've pulled out a bunch of blocks. We don't know if we've actually toppled the tower. Uh, not Keep yet. doing the work. Yes. Keep doing yes. the work or call me and we start doing the work together. But you got to keep pulling out those blocks till that tower is done. Yeah, it's a tall tower. <laughs> but see, yeah. even the tall tower, if you pull the right blocks, it's going to topple. Oh, yes. So yeah. don't let the fact that there are a lot of blocks in there dissuade you from from thinking this is going to take a long, long, long time. You have to be willing for it to, but it could be gone. It could be gone right now because that feeling you could be, could, that could be the top, the tower of toppling. So just yeah. let whatever happens, happens. It could be a, a really fun ride. I'm looking forward to it okay. very much. So I thank you so much. You're so You're kind. Oh, thanks for playing. I love playing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a like. And if you had a shift of your own, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Also, check out the description for energetic magic events that you can attend every single month. Be well, be aware, and be magical.